They come arrested me last Thursday they were here. I lose them to animals, but I was not expecting them to lose them to my neighbor. That was like my friend. So I'm defending myself. You know, I was feared for my safety and the chicken, you know, uh, de died. Good day everyone, this is Dave Sato, the most handsome yekebo African nations, adrenaline pumping a physical pound husband. And as usual with me, I have beside me my most scintillating pepperoni sugarlicious newscaster wife. <laughs> Good day everyone, I'm Jaquette Oluani Setro, and you're welcome to the Setro's Blog family today. In case you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and a big thank you to all that have been supporting us. Today we have something that is very, very funny. Mm. It's, it's, mm. it's... <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's the story of James Nick, a Florida man that has been charged to court for doing what? What? <laughs> for killing a roaster, Akuko. In Africa, we call it Akuko Ediye. Uh, it was reported that his neighbor that had these roasters, a, they were just fighting over the fact that the roaster wanted to attack this man that was imprisoned. And this, the man said, it's self-defense. I had to defend myself when the roaster was doing like this, like this. Ah, ah. So do you want me to, to be killed? And these chickens are being killed in tasty fried chicken and all that. <laughs> but you know the funniest stuff is that over there in America, you guys are enjoying a whole lot of freedom. Because over here in Africa, chickens are not given the necessary rights. And I find that appalling. It is not good. Chicken must have their rights, right of existence. <laughs> I don't know why Nigeria, Nigeria and the rest of Africa are not allowing chickens to have human, sorry, human rights, chicken <laughs> rights. <laughs> it's not only chicken rights. Human beings, have they been given their rights? Yes. You see people being slaughtered everywhere in Africa, especially somewhere in Nigeria like this, and nobody is speaking. In fact, some old communities, you just have people invade them, kill them, and nothing is talking. No one is saying anything. And you are now talking of chicken. Chicken what? Rooster. And this is totally unacceptable. In Africa, we must start defending our chicken. The life of our chicken and our animals, our pets, even war gecko. Those of you that are killing war gecko. Because chicken lives matters. Yes. Matters and hmm. matters. <laughs> but you know what? Let's go back to our correspondent. <laughs> And see more information about this. Chicken life matters. No, the, 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 the chicken that was laid to rest. So sorry. <laughs> the sleep of teeth. Well, I went to jail. They come arrested me last Thursday they were here. I lose them to animals, but I was not expecting them to lose them to my neighbor. That was like my friend. Neighbors in a fight over a dead rooster and one of them facing a felony charge. Aggravated animal cruelty is a third degree felony, meaning that he could face up to five years in prison. Yeah, and the two neighbors say they will not come to an agreement, but no matter what it ended with one of them spending 30 hours inside the jail on an animal cruelty charge, he says he disagrees with. I didn't know to give it a 21 gun salute, CPR, mouth to mouth. You know, or call the chicken ambulance. Big Roo was Jason Day Felice's pet rooster. That is, until James Nix hit it with a stick. So I'm defending myself. You know, I was feared for my safety. And the chicken, you know, uh, d died. Nick says the rooster attacked people. I have not heard that, because I know the neighbor here. Uh, I know him. Like, we're, we're friends. <laughs> he never said anything to me about it. I did tell him... After the chicken hit my dad, I said, hey, man, the chicken attacked my dad. Oh, uh, what's it doing? It's just a chicken. What's he going to do? You know, okay, well, look. The neighbors even disagree on how others saw Big Roo. The kids that used to live over there, they were throwing rocks and sticks at this chicken to keep it away. I know the kids down here, they played with the rooster a little bit, like would throw rocks at it and chase it. So one day when Nick says the rooster followed him and attacked him. His neck flares up and he's doing his thing and he's trying to jump up at me. He was trying to get the animal away. And I try to hit it, but the chicken's jumping up at me and I accidentally knocked it in the head. You know, call it a lucky shot, whatever. But when Dave Felice came home, all he saw was his rooster dead in a ditch. I said, I'm calling JSO. I called JSO. JSO didn't do nothing. And then a couple days later, I, I realized I could call animal control. And in late June, James Nix went to jail for animal cruelty.
Next thing you know, he calls the chicken police on me. While the neighbors continue the fight, Nick says he never should have been arrested. Chickens are dying every day, people, at churches, Popeyes, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Really. So, based on what you have seen, that America is the land of the truly free. Freedom of expression, freedom of becoming a chicken in short. I'm sure that some persons would love to be a chicken in America than to be a human being in places like Nigeria and the rest of Africa. Why? Because you have your constitutional right as a chicken. Right to be listened to, right to move, right to do like this. Because that man was saying the chicken was doing like this. You know, the part that got me amazed and very fun to me was when he said he accidentally in trying to defend himself this is man's constitutional right versus chicken constitutional right he tried to defend himself and hit the chicken and that was a lucky shot <laughs> but unfortunately this man was sent to jail for what for eating a chicken is that right so what what is your opinion about this? I really want to get what is your own opinion about no, this. No, no, no. What do you want? Do you want the chicken to kill the man or you want the chicken to be dead? Do you think a chicken can kill a man? Uh -uh. What? No, 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 no. Can a chicken kill a man? Has a chicken killed any man before? <laughs> can a roaster? Because roaster look. But never uh, not to forget the fact that if that chicken jumps on him. And the chicken can end up blinding him by poking his, into his eyeball. Oh, what do you think? Yes, yes. What do you really think? Please, we need no, your comments. As in, what do you really think? Which one is more valuable to you? Is it the man's life or the rooster's life? I think, yes, I want to know. But what about know. if the chicken actually is feeling threatened by this man? Uh -uh. Yes, because the, the, the chicken might be in his ozone in his space and this man is invading the chicken's privacy maybe the chicken wants to go to the toilet and the man was now passing around that area and the chicken is like whoa go back go back go or maybe the chicken is saying whoa go back go back go back and the man mistaking that for a threat or like an invasion uh, let's hear from the viewers what do you what can you really say because i'm not there in america i'm right here in nigeria but to us in nigeria it's another thing entirely oh. another thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, the, the roaster will be roasted <laughs> You know, that, and that is one bad thing about African countries, you know. If it is an African country, the, this, this neighbor will not only kill the chicken. We not kill it. We not kill the chicken. The, the, the neighbor will end up frying <laughs> the chicken. Now, it's painful to me. It's painful to me because I grew up rearing agri chickens. And I know... How many of those chickens were missing? <laughs> we are Celted. They were Celts, <laughs> and they were not only Celts, that's past participle of kill. They were by your neighbors. by my neighbors, and they were eaten by my neighbors. The only thing I saw was feather. <laughs> so I think Africa should set up a constitutional right of chicken that are missing. You can be charged with felony yes. up to the tune of being sentenced to about five years imprisonment. Eh? Yes. Five years or five days? Five years imprisonment for counting your neighbor's chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not killing, no, counting. I think, I think <laughs> Africa has a lot to learn from America. America, you guys are free. I'm telling you, you so, guys are free. Mm -hmm. Even your animals are free. Now, we are going to demand for animal freedom. Uh, eh, no, Mr. Wright. Animal freedom. Have you demanded for human freedom? Do you know what is going on? It's not because we, we, we want to make it so funny here, as in, do you know what is going on with human lives right here in Africa, especially in Nigeria? What is going on? You don't know. You don't, you should not just know. No, I just remember now in Nigeria, animal, some kind of animal has freedom. They call them Malu. In <laughs> Nigeria, the right of cows, right? <laughs> cows have more rights than men. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because if you killed a, a cow, cow hmm. the whole community can be killed Cut for it. it. Yes. That is that is actually what is happening right here in Africa. If you killed a cow, and you you the whole community where that cow was killed 
Oh God. Let me tell you. Presently, you cannot walk to, you cannot use your leg to walk into some places in Africa, in Nigeria precisely. But cows, look at them in National Assembly. <laughs> look at them at the airport. <laughs> but you, as a human being, you have no constitutional authority under the auspices of the animal kingdom to walk into such places. Okay, and, and, and that's, and that's just what is happening. Yes. Anyway, we just felt we should make you happy with this section so that uh, you leave off all the worries in the world and just find a resting place because even in your dream, if you kill chicken in America, you might be sent to prison. You might wake <laughs> like up this in... man went to... For, he was behind the bars for 30, 30 hours, hours. thereabouts wow. for counting. Wow. Not just killing, counting a chicken, a rooster. I okay. think... I think we will do more to protect our animals. Okay. And that's just it for all of us here at the Cetra's Vlog family. Yeah. So, till we come your way next time, don't forget the joy therapy. Your joy is actually your strength. The world is going through a lot right now. Various countries are in recession, high inflation rates mm -hmm. and rising prices. Everything is just going haywire. But make sure you keep your joy because your joy is actually your strength. And your strength... It's your life, yes. And for all you care to know about, always remember to respect the life of the African chicken. <laughs> because chicken do have constitutional rights. So if you are there, look for any pet around you and hug them. Eh? <laughs> and say, pet, I'll never allow anybody to kill you. To kill Tetsu. <laughs> From the okay. Cetrus. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye.